Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann. And um, I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube for the past few weeks about people showing what they have in their pencil case and tagging everyone else. Um, I thought that was very, very interesting and I found it really, really um, intriguing to have a peek at the inside of other people's pencil cases because, you know, um, uh, a lot of people have mostly um, Sharpies in there, but a lot of people also have some fountain pens in there. And as much as uh, I am a writer and I love fountain pens and I have a small collection of it, and I've already done a video of all of my pens, that's no longer what I'm using now. And in this video, I thought I wanted to show you what's in my actual pencil case, the one that I'm using right now, and why I have those in my pencil case. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I want to show you why everything in my pencil case is relevant for the day, for the days that I use it for. So first of all, I'm using this very, very cheap pencil case, which I bought from National Bookstore here in my country and it's just a, a light blue I think it's made of ripstop nylon because it has a very faint squarish patterns I'm not sure if you can see that these are squarish patterns that are familiar to me because I've seen a lot of ripstop nylons but I think it's made of nylon and inside it has a gray lining it, it's a lining because it it's not stuck together these are two sever separate pieces of fabric. So it's just a blue pencil case with a purple and white um, flowers and the zipper is the same purple as the one on the flowers. And over here there's a flap and it's to protect another zipper that goes across the whole of the pen. And here I have um, a folding safety knife. You've seen this before in my very first setup video of the very first file effects that I've had. Is the Filofax Safiano Personal in Aqua, and it's this knife is stuck on there because it's the same size as a credit card, and it's a card sharp folding safety knife. There, and the way you do it is you unlock it right here in this bottom, uh, this button right here, and then you flip it over, and then you fold the two uh, corners together, and they snap into place because there are you know, like um, sort of protrusions in one piece that slot into tiny holes in the other piece. So that's how you, that's how you can hold it, you know. It's not meant to be for heavy use, it's meant to be just for emergencies. This has gotten a lot of use before because this is what I used to use when I'm out in the field in the actual field like in the mountains and I need to cut some rope or some nylon or cut a piece of leaf off that's really what I use it for when I don't have the buck knife in my uh, pocket <laughs> so when I'm just out taking a walk and I don't have a knife with me this is what I use in case I want to cut off a piece of bark or something so that's why it's in my pencil case because I never know when I'm going to be using it for. Of course I can use an, an actual cutter knife, it's safer, but this has been on me in my daily carry for more than a year, so I just thought I would put it on here. And in the same pocket are, oh no, this one I should throw away, just Coletta refills. There, I threw that one away. Just some Coletta refills because I'm on the Coletto, this one. And I, I, ne I can never really tell when any of the colors are going to run out. So um, I just keep the four colors in here. The orange, black, green, and blue. So that anytime something runs out, I can reach into my pencil case and put it into the pen. Right now there's orange in here. I should put more green, blue, and black. Okay, let me take that out for consistency. I'm going to show you things here and then I'm going to uh, put them away outside of the pencil case. So in the main compartment, it's very, very roomy. 
And by the way, the pencil case closes completely, so there's no chance of anything falling out. In the main compartment, I have these Statler um, tripless fine liners in all of the colors that I use to shade in my hyperdex. Let's see exactly how many colors I have. Hmm. There is quite a bit. Let me check. <laughs> okay, these are all the colors that I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 different colors because in my hyperdex, this one right here, I shade them in with the colors of the fine liner because um, these are my categories. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, there is even a 16th right there that I wasn't able to take out. Here, there's a dark brown, and it's no longer a Stadler. It's a Stablo 0.80 that's dark brown. So that's why I have to keep these pens in my pencil case because I use them to shade in my Hyperdex. And for the the white dots, I use a Uniball Signo Broad white gel pen because this one, this dark gray one, looks a lot like the olive one. So to to uh, make the distinction between the two, if it's dark gray with white dots, then it's for personal. It, then that's the time spent for personal reading. If it's the olive one, the plain one then it's time spent with family. If I don't put the white dots on the dark gray, it sometimes it looks like olive to me. So just to be able to be clear at first glance what that thing is shaded in on the hyperdex. So that's why I have 16 felt markers in my pencil case and one Uniball Signo Bra. And then up next, oh, I took this out because I just inked it. Because, but it's part of my everyday pencil case. This is a this is a Pelican fountain pen. It's my favorite pen. This is the Pelican M four hundred in white tortoise. Um, I have another Pelican. I have two other Pelicans. The other one is the M six hundred. Grand Plus. It's part of the Great Places series of Pelican. And then the other is the M205, M205 demonstrator, the very clear one where you can see the piston mechanism working because it's all made of clear resin and the cap is made of clear resin. And the only thing that is not clear, I think, is the... No, I think even this one is clear. The, the piston cap is clear so everything is clear in the M205 but in this M400 white tortoise this one is made of a very very classy sort of off-white kind of color and here is a tortoise shell inlay on the resin and you can just see the ink inside right now I have it loaded up with mm -hmm. I have it loaded up with uh, Noodler's Zhivago. The ink is Noodler's Zhivago. It's a very, very dark green. It's actually a black that is tinged with green. And this is my favorite ink. I use it every day and I've been using it for years and years even before I got this pen because I got this pen just about two years ago. But I've had this, uh, I've been using this ink for about five years now. It's my staple ink. And I love it because it's not just your regular black and it's bulletproof. It, it's bulletproof because Noodlers um, has this um, special formula for certain inks, not all of their inks, but just certain inks for them to be bulletproof. 
which means that even if you throw water on it, on the paper, after you've written on the paper with a bulletproof ink, even if you throw water on it or bleach or any kind of chemical, the ink will never ever disappear. And with Nude or Shiva Go, I tried wetting this with water and what happens is that the green tinge actually washes off but it's the black that remains and the black is still very clear and very sharp and I've actually went back to a lot of the writing that I have done since I've gotten this ink and they're all still very clear and very sharp and um, it, the bulletproof inks of noodlers are mm, of archival quality and they are bulletproof it just goes to say that all bulletproof inks are, are of are of archival quality. So this is always in my pencil case. I just took it out to ink it. And uh, I also have three other fountain pens on here. <laughs> but they are not inked because I, I rinsed them out so I can put them back in storage. These are just regular Lamy Safaris that's made of plastic. This one is, you can interchange the nibs of the Lamy Safari. See, if, if you want to change it out with a broad nib or an italic, the same one that's on here, this is a 1.5 italic nib. Um, it, it, has a, it, it has a stub, it, it has a stub ending, not a stub nib. But the italic has a, an, an ending that is that looks like a stub. It's it runs straight across. Let me see if I can focus that for you. There. As compared to the one that has a rounded point. This is the medium, this is the 1.5 italic. So right now these pens are not inked because I'm not really using them so much so I thought I would just wash them, dry them, and then put them back in storage. You've seen the, the pen holder that I use, the leather one, that's what I use to store all of my fountain pens in. So that's in my pencil case. And I also have a silver gel pen. I was using this before I got the Uniball Signal Broad because I didn't know that this existed. But this is so much better than the silver gel pen. I purchased the silver gel pen because in my Filofax, I have this, I have this small, it's a cutout of a black post-it. I use a craft punch of a leaf um, to mark whether I was on time for work for that day or I was late or I was on leave or if I had to go on overtime. And there, there's another leaf. Um, I think that it, it just makes the information pop out because we are only allowed up to nine times of under times and lates for the month before we get issued a memo. And I've been so busy with other things like school and um, hmm, other things <laughs> that I have not really been able to get to work on time each time. So this is just so that I can be able to keep track of the number of times that I'm already late because if I'm approaching like seven for the month, then I should make it an extra effort to no longer be late at all. Because um, another reason that I sometimes get late is that traffic is very, very, um, traffic is very uh, unpredictable these days because of all the road work that has been, that has been going on and the unpredictable weather. And when there's road work, drainage is affected and whenever um, it rains sometimes areas that did not used to get flooded get flooded and you can never tell and so I have made it a point to leave the house about a half an hour early and sometimes it's just not enough because an area that used to not be under road work is then on road work so um, sometimes it catches me off guard. They do issue announcements about it, but sometimes I don't catch it and they move very fast. So that's another one of the other factors that make me late these days. But um, last October, I'm glad to say that I was not late for a single time. And that was quite the achievement. <laughs> um, so there, I'm keeping tabs on that just so I can, I can manage whatever is allowed to me and if I can achieve a month in which I 
am not late or I have not gone on under time at all, then that would be a good thing. Um, another thing that's in my pencil case is this. It's the teeny tiny Pilot Petite One. It's a fountain pen, but it's disposable. It's so small. It came together with a cartridge. Now it's almost empty. It came with a cartridge, and the, the ink in the cartridge is the same as the ink in the pen. So if you purchase an orange pen, it will come with an orange ink, and you just slip it in. Now you can buy replacement cartridges for this if you want to. They're available online, and they're very, very cheap because it's really just a disposable pen. And I have a set of this that I have not even used yet. The cartridges are still sealed. Um, but this is the one that's in my pencil case right now because I think I wanted to use up all the ink of this before they, they dried out entirely. And when written on, the pink of this matches exactly the pink of this. So um, instead of using this, I just use this so I can use up the ink because I really don't like it when the ink on my fountain pens dry up without me being able to use them much. I just think it's a waste of ink. However, this one does not dry up, but this one does, so I figured I might as well use this one. So now it's almost um, completely used up. So that's a Pilot Petite 1. I think the Pilot Petite 2 is the same one as this, but it has a brush point but everything else is the same so you get the same colors as the Pilot Petite 1 and then there is a Pilot Petite 3 which is the ball point which is the roller ball point I might be getting them um, all mixed up but I do know that the Pilot Petite 1 is a fountain pen and there are two other different kinds of the same pen with, but with different uh, points one is the roller ball and the other is the brush tip so you can look that up online. Another thing that's in my fountain pen is a, um, it's a this is an eraser, a retractable eraser, because I also have a Faber-Castell Econ 0.5 point mechanical pencil. Now the clip already broke. It used to be on my, it used to be on this um, pen loop of my, um, Franklin Covey but it broke so now this stays in the pencil case and I use it together with this um, eraser pen and I also have <laughs> I don't know why these are here two Mongo pencils number two I think I, I, I put them on my pile of pens beside my desk and then when I was ready to go I just uh, took everything and threw it into my pencil case without thinking so this one is going these two are going back into the pencil cup on my desk and what else do I have I have here oh this is just this is the Faber-Castell um, pencil sharpener for the watercolor pencils I purchased this one should also go back into that box and over here I have a pen that has actually fallen apart <laughs> it's the Energel liquid gel ink from Pentel it was given to me by Deborah, together with um, that, together with this, this uh, Franklin Covey, sorry about that, this Franklin Covey is actually a rack from Deborah. it's a full genuine leather um, Franklin Covey, it has a pink salmon, uh, salmony color on the outside and it's black on the inside and I really really love it and the rack that the, the, the other things that you spent with this, with this pen and a black and white notebook and black and white pattern tabs and things like that, all the colors match the colors of this Franklin Covey, so I'm loving it. And this one has actually a very, very broad point. It's very, very broad compared with a Coletto 0 0.3. So this is excellent for writing in on forms that don't require me to use blue ink. I use this. Now somewhere along the line, this, this fell apart and I lost the spring, so it's no longer retractable. So what I did, because I love the pen, what I did was I, I, I put washi on here to, to keep this one fully distended permanently so that I can still use it. But sometimes it still falls apart, you know, because 
that's why I always keep it in my pencil case because I didn't want to clip it to my organizer anymore because it might fall off and I might never be able to find it again so that's in my pencil case and what else is here I have scissors why do I have scissors oh you might think this kind of um, inconvenient but every time I make a mistake on my pages I don't use the, the correction film runners things because my pages are ivory and if I correct it with something that's white it will stand out and it will bother me to no end but just let me check no I have not made any mistakes did I make a mistake yes I did no I did not hmm oh here um, here I made a mistake what I did was I cut out a piece of the same ivory colored sheet that I used to print on my pages and then I cut them with the scissors just a teeny tiny strip of it enough to cover the writing that I want to uh, erase erase and that's why I also have this it's a big glue stick it's a water-based glue stick that is retractable you just uh, every time you're about to use up the the one that's already extended you can extend a little bit more and then you can retract it so there that's why I also have this together with the scissors because that's how I correct things in my file facts I mean in my daily pages now I don't do that every time I make a mistake right away I mean I don't do that right away after I make a mistake because sometimes when I'm on the go I just cross everything out in a very visible way so that when I got back to my desk I can do the snip snip thing <laughs> and um, cover it up but when I'm on the go it's not very convenient to snip out teeny tiny pieces of paper and take out this glue and affix the glue to the tiny piece of paper and then lay the paper down it's not very convenient especially when there are people looking at me they might think that I am super duper <laughs> weird doing that with scissors in a meeting something like that <laughs> so that's why I do that only when I'm at my desk already but I keep the scissors and the glue in my pencil case nonetheless and what else do I have oh I have this is actually a lip balm an Evia nip lip balm in soft rose I have lip balms all over the place I have one in my grab bag I have one in my um, main bag which this is the only one that I ever use and then I have one in my drawer I have one on top of my desk I have one right near my bedside table because um, you always need lip balm so it's also in my pencil case so that's it that is everything in my pencil case oops sorry I hit my um, I hit my uh, iPhone clamp right there. so I'm gonna be putting everything back and I'm gonna show you how it looks like when everything is where it's supposed to be so this is really what it looks like it's a very very roomy pencil case and you can squish it so it can fit any space in your bag which is what I do and because the most valuable pen in here is actually the pelican and it's in its own leather case it's actually a pelican pen case it's made out of leather and I ordered it separately just so I can house all of my valuable pelicans in here it's quite an expensive pen so um, I think it is like um, I'm not sure $350 I'm not sure I, I forget this was like two years ago but it's one of my most expensive pens not the most expensive but one of my most expensive pens and s even if I squish the pencil case the pen is protected completely so that's why I love this pencil case I can even put in more if I need to but for now I have been on the same pens for about months and I have not felt the need to change and these are pretty much the pens that I need on a daily basis minus the three Lamy fountain pens that I need to put on storage and that's it that is the contents 
of my pencil case thank you so much for watching until next time bye